Let me say that the resolution allows you to make the finest of adjustments and the friction on the levers, well, it's just amazing. It's about the best I've ever experienced on a throttle quadrant. Hey everybody, welcome to the Sim Hangar. My name's Mark. Thank you very much for watching and let's get started. Authentic Hits Innovation continues with the introduction of a brand new GA style vernier throttle quadrant. Yes, you heard that right. Not for the warbirds this time, but for general aviation. It'll be available in various configurations, but today the configs for the Comanche 250 from A2A Simulations. And you can configure it in Microsoft Flight Simulator just like any other peripheral. And what we'll be looking at today is just the beginning. There's more to come. This product has been in development for over a year now. And today we're looking at a prototype, so this is a preview. My thanks to Authenticit for letting me share this with my subscribers. And what a pleasure it is to do it in one of my favourite aircraft, A2A's Comanche 250. An authentic simulation of its real-world counterpart, and both an aircraft and developer that have redefined the terms authentic in Microsoft Flight Simulator for GA aircraft. As always for this channel, I'll tell you everything you need to know. But first and foremost, let's jump into the cockpit and put the throttle quadrant to work. Authentic it have promised me big things with this throttle quadrant. Let's see if they deliver. For those of you not familiar with Authentic it, they are not a commercial organization. They supply all the information and files required to 3D print their products directly and provide access to a third party to get your hands on the required hardware. While still subject to confirmation, their plans are a little bit different on this occasion and that you'll be able to purchase a complete kit including all the hardware and 3D printed parts, so that you can assemble these units yourself without the need for sophisticated tools, keeping costs down, providing access to those that don't have a 3D printer. If you do have access to 3D printing, then the files and information will be available for free download as normal, and the required hardware available via the third-party SimKit supplies. The Authenticate Throttle Quadrant has two extensions on either side, and that's because it's designed for under-table mounting, which lets you place it in a position not dissimilar to the one in the real aircraft. Please note that what you're seeing is a prototype, still has some work to do from an aesthetics point of view, and the mixture knob is not coloured red at this stage. But what we're most interested in is function and accuracy. Phil Hume, the founder of Authenticate, worked directly with A2A, who kindly shared some of their CAD drawings to ensure the throttle quadrants as accurate and as authentic as possible. Let's give it a test. Let's try the throttle first of all, and we'll just add a little bit more power. Let's not beat around the bush. This throttle quadrant is special for two reasons. First of all, and as I'll demonstrate, the resolution is absolutely stunning. It allows you, with just a tiny movement, to make those fractional changes that you're looking for to hit that exact RPM or manifold pressure. And secondly, and I flippin' love this, the tension or friction on these levers is absolutely amazing. There's real feedback there, you can see how I'm pressing it. OK, looking at the manifold gauge, I'm now moving it to 25. I was able to find that easily, and now let me turn it down to 20. Not quite there, a fractional change. There we go, bang on, 20. Let's now go ahead and try 15. And I'm able to dial that in absolutely no problem at all, and make minor corrections where I need to. This sort of accuracy or resolution is normally only available on throttle quadrants costing, well, right at the top end. 800 pounds, sometimes over a thousand. Let's now give the mixture knob a test. Pull it out until the engine cuts and then push it back in. And as we make the adjustment, we can see the fuel flow needle changing on the dashboard. As you've probably guessed by now, this throttle quadrant is using Hall Effect sensors to achieve this level of accuracy. Let's now bring the throttle back a little bit and let's leave it to idle at about a thousand RPM. And I should be able to, yep, that's dialed in. That'll do nicely. Let's now just change our view and get a more one-to-one -one representation. 
I think that'll do, and let's superimpose the throttle quadrant over that. There we are. As I mentioned before, the mixture lever has not yet been painted red, but that's just a cosmetic issue. And you can see that Authenticate have done a grand job. But the question you may be asking is, well, I'm not flying the A28 Comanche 250. I'm flying the Cessna 172. Or maybe you're flying an aircraft with a traditional throttle prop and mixture. Well, that's not a problem either, because the levers can be moved to any position that you desire, and I'm sure they'll be making a traditional mixture lever head available as well. For the 172, for example, you don't have a prop. You've got throttle mixture, and you've got carb heat. So you'd probably want to add a carb heat where the mixture is. And here it is. We can remove the head of the mixture and attach the carb heat one. And once again, we'll be having a look at how we do that a little bit later on. The one thing you'll note not correctly represented at the moment is the brake lever. Currently, it's a push button. Basically a toggle parking brake on and off because of the config, but the guys at Authenticate continue to work on it to provide you with a more realistic parking brake. Needless to say that this throttle quadrant's going to be absolutely awesome to be used in VR as well. To change the configuration of the various handles is fairly straightforward. Here for example I'm unscrewing on the throttle lever and the top release button which is not simulated on the throttle quadrant. Push the handle forward to release it from the hex bolt that holds it. The prop lever works in exactly the same way as does the mixture lever. We could then unscrew the bolt and attach the carb heat for example if we wanted to by screwing that in. I think it would be fair to say though that constant changing and screwing in and out would be limited. Although the shaft itself is metal, it is predominantly a 3D printed part and we'd have to take cognizant of that. But once again things may change as again this is a prototype. This is actually not the first GA components that Authenticate have produced. Authenticate is now three years old. Happy birthday Authenticate. Back in the earlier days they did some development work on the DR400. Here's Phil in action. It's a little high looking at the glide slope. I think this landing, landing will be respectable. with the throttle and here is some information you should know its use is not restricted to Microsoft Flight Simulator can be used with just about any simulator and it plugs into the PC via a single USB but via the Authenticate Universal Hub whilst this is another bit of kit it does offer a number of significant advantages particularly with regards to the cost of future expansions and add-ons all Authenticate peripherals use an Ethernet connection, with only the Universal Hub connecting directly to the PC via USB. Ethernet-based peripherals are considerably cheaper than the USB alternative. The other point that needs clarity is that you can buy it as a complete kit for self-assembly. It doesn't come fully assembled, but the design of all Authenticate equipment is fairly clever. No soldering is required no special tools, and one can normally assemble just about any component in a couple of hours. The throttle quadrant would probably take you one, if not familiar, maybe two hours. I've done some assembly of Authenticate units in the past, so if you're feeling daunted by such a task where you can get a better feel, as Authenticate will be supplying me a finished unit sometime in the first quarter of 2024, I'll share that assembly with you and my thoughts, views and opinions on it. So make sure you stay tuned. And what about the price and what will it cost? Well right now the developers looking at something in the region of about a hundred pounds, maybe as high as a hundred and fifty, but really would appreciate your feedback in the comments below. What would you be willing to pay for something like this? Phil, the founder of Authenticate, would also appreciate any feedback you may have in terms of options or features within the throttle quadrant. What would you like to see? Once again, comment below. You may shape 
the look and feel of this product going forward. Personally, having used the product for a couple of days, I'd like to see an alternative method of changing the handles. If I could just change the head and not the complete metal spindle or rod, this would reduce the chance of wear and tear in the future, although admittedly I probably wouldn't change it that often. What I can tell you in all honesty is that the resolution, the friction, and overall the build quality, well, it met my expectations, and I personally really like it. This is a change of pace for Authenticate, moving into supplying complete kits on a trial basis. Personally though, it's something that I welcome. Well, I hope you found this interesting and useful. Thank you as always for climbing on board. Hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon. And bye for now.